Well, we've been teasing it for a while and now it's time to put it on the dyno. We're going to see what it makes and we'll go for a little drive, I think. Here we go. Dyno Day Suzuki Carry Pickup. Right, well, I'm getting comfy in the Suzuki Carry. This is Sarah. Hello, Sarah from Hi. Inky Moles. How Hello. are you doing? Good. It's the young lady that does all our artwork on the walls at Dino Days. So for both Dino Days and Dino Days, <laughs> Uncle Keith's paint shop. Which has picked the dog up. He's picked the dog up, picked Sid up. So we're in the Suzuki Carry, and uh, are we going to explain why we're making this video, Sarah? Because uh, a nice young man called Paddy, Paddy. is He's bought it and he's about to come and pick it up. So this is a, like a this is awesome. like the, the last the last ride. Yeah. And we didn't we didn't know he was gonna get it today and he is, so we thought it'd be lovely to capture the last little hoon. So we're going out for a bit of a rock and roll in it. So here we go. Well it sounds pretty it sounds pretty uh pretty revy. So what engine's in this? It's got a 650cc engine. Yeah. It's of raw raw power. The only modification we've made to it is a K&M filter. A K&M filter. Just a little green, a bit better. Well, it goes, don't it? It goes, it does like a sewing machine. Like a sewing machine. Yeah, so it's completely content. We've had it up to 80 something miles an hour and it's got- 80 miles options. in that, hey? Yeah. I'm getting yeah. my seat, I'm making sure my seat belt's on. And uh, we think it came out of the factory with about 39 horsepower. About 39 horsepower. So we've done a K&N, so we'll call that 200. <laughs> Check you out, handed it over with a full tank of fuel. Yeah, I know, absolute maximum generosity. Oh, here we go, hold on to your horses. So we are really pleased that Paddy's having it because he's a, a local chap. A, a local chap? He's what? a fr friend of a friend and he, he loved the van from the minute he saw it. So. So with, pa with Paddy being a local lad, does that mean that you'll see this again, this van, perhaps? I think there's a good chance we will, yeah, because because Paddy's uh, a, a friend of a friend as well. I think there's a good chance we'll we'll see this this little truck again. Fantastic. I don't quite know how I feel about that. Whether that's a good now, thing. Now, what, thing what have happening. you guys been using it for? Because it is a well, it is a, a flatbed. It's got some uses. Yeah. Or a, have you just been loving it and driving it, as opposed to actually using it as a workhorse? A bit of both. A bit of both. We've been loving it and driving it, polishing it, under seal it, obviously. I remember it getting, getting under sealed. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it's carried wood from the woodshed. It's carried all the paint down. So it really has served a purpose. Absolutely. And do, yeah. And do we know what it's getting used for? A similar sort it's of. It's going to be a daily. A daily. He, he wants it as a daily. He it's, lives um, in a Leicestershire village and yeah. he has to drive through two more Leicestershire villages oh, okay. to get to work, so he wants to. So it's a nice daily. little daily run up. Any good on fuel? Um, it's not as cute and economical as you might imagine. As you might imagine. But, but then again, you know, you are giving it a little bit. Uh, you know, you're definitely. We try to. You're definitely throwing it into these corners. With, Shall we put it on the dyno and see what it's actually putting out? We could, we could do I, that. I think that would be nice. It would be nice end to the video to see what power she's actually put out. It's going to look cute on the dyno, isn't it? I think it'll look very cute. Will it be the smallest thing you've ever had? Uh, <laughs> there's a joke there somewhere, but I think I think we've had a Robin Reliant on the dyno in the past. No way. Yeah, yeah, and the wheel went in the middle of the ramp so the two rear wheels came climbed up the ramp because of the rear wheel drive and the front wheel stayed on the floor and what was it making i think it made about 40 brake horsepower it's not to be sniffed at it's not and what do we think this is stock 63 uh, we think it came out with 39 39 mm -hmm. there could be a record beaten today <laughs> there could be 
we'll get out the traffic jam first. Yes, let's. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get out this traffic jam, film a little bit of driving again, and then we're going to go and stick it on the dyno. Yeah. Sounds good, don't Yeah, you? we could look at some of the lovely details on the dash in the meantime, like the stock. I'd have missed these audio. things. Let's have a look. Stock radio. Now, I do notice there's no speakers in the door cards. So, am I to think that is the speaker? Yeah. One speaker. What one speaker? Tape cassette or just radio? Just radio. Just radio. One speaker. What more do you need? I've got a new car. It's definitely up there along with the holiday. Uh, yeah. Speaking of which, Chaz has been in touch, soaking up the sunshine. That is a radio. It's got some got nice... Great music going. However, you are spending your nice weekend. Switches. Classic Queen on the way. And a tractor. It's not. It's nice in here. I think as a daily, I think I, I could get used to it. I mean, look, the, the clocks are so basic. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot going on there. It's not done very many miles, has it? No, not really. Look at that full tank of fuel. Someone's oh, a lucky boy, aren't they? Absolute bargain. New roof lining. So what's it just turned over 70? What? 67. 67. KM. Oh, I can see the six now, yeah. yeah. That's nothing. So, baby, so the rule of thumb with kilometres and miles is mm. divide by three, multiply by two. Okay. So if it's 70... Uh, kilometers, it's about um, divide, by, divide the, by three, yeah. So, about 40 45,000 yeah. ish around there, I think. Very, very rough rule of thumb. Rough rule of thumb. If those of you didn't know, we're under Neaton, so here's the, uh, the railway bridge. Oops. Picturesque Neaton. Sounds like a lawnmower. There's a lawnmower shop. That worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Little Japanese law bower. I feel like you're trying to throw this around the corners. Oh, you, is that just for me? No, no. If, if that's what, how you want to drive, that's fantastic. Oh. I'm excited by it. A little bit scared. <laughs> it has got a handle for me to hold on to here, which is great. There's really not a lot in here. Um, but I think that adds to it. I think that's the whole point. And the engine is obviously directly under the seat. So that's we're, right. We're sitting over we're the We're sitting on the engine. So no need for heating because no. obviously that's going to heat my... It's like a heated seat because yeah. we're sat on the engine. You're going to miss this, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Not going not gonna to lie. Okay. Well, let's get back to the... Do let's get back to the dyno. And let's see what she's chucking out. Yeah, you have driven this, haven't you? I've not driven do you it. Want to drive it. No. You can do. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm I mean, good. Well, I felt like we were really close to that Range Rover then, and realised there's no bonnet. There's... Where, where your feet are, that's the edge of the vehicle. That's the edge of the vehicle there. Yeah. That's yeah. It. I felt like we were really close to that, like panicky close, but there is nothing in front of me. Beautiful day for a sale of a vehicle. Well, I certainly enjoyed my ride out in this funky little thing. A little bit scary, only grabbed the handle once or twice as Sarah tipped it into the corners. But uh, it's now time to see what power she's got. Are you excited for this? You're actually, I think that's the first time I've seen you stand in front of your own Dino Days wall that you did yourself. Very yeah. good. Four, five years ago now, Is it? Is. Is that how long it's been? Wow. Well, everybody really likes the Uncle Keith Page Shop wall so far. So to we're be to be revealed. We're looking forward to that uh, that being finished. But okay, let's go find Richard and let's do this. Here it comes. Now I'm going to have to guide this up. So bear with me. That's just in the rollers. It's like just on the dyno. That fantastic. Let's see what power she puts out. I better find somewhere to strap it. Woo! 
results are in. Almost looks like a, an inverted paragraph to me, but uh, what do I know? Here we go. It made 35 brake horsepowers and 44.9 foot pound. Well, that is phenomenal amounts of power. What an amazing chariot that is. So, uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Hey, Rich. Do a skid. Do a skid. We'll see you on the next one.